President Obama is expected to push for sweeping changes to the nation's ailing health care system when he speaks to the American Medical Association in Chicago later today. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant traveling with the president joins us this morning. Bill, good morning to you. Good morning, Chris. That's a tough crowd. But today the president is expected to offer the doctors something they want. Willingness to discuss a reduction in medical malpractice suits. However, they're going to remain very skeptical of other parts of his plan, such as public insurance and further cuts in the payments to hospitals and doctors. If doctors have incentives to provide the best care instead of more care, we can help Americans avoid the unnecessary hospital stays, treatments and tests that drive up costs. The president also wants a public insurance plan to compete with private insurance. On Face the Nations, the Senate Minority Leader called that a non-starter for Republicans. If the government is in the insurance business, there won't be any other insurers. There is general agreement among both Republicans and Democrats that reform is needed, that all Americans should be insured, and that no one should be denied insurance because of pre-existing health conditions. The biggest single problem is figuring out ways to pay for the cost of extending coverage. The problem is that higher taxes have to be paid by somebody. The White House has deliberately not given Congress much guidance about exactly what it would like to see in a health care bill. The reason? They're trying to avoid the kind of battles that torpedoed the Clinton's health care reform bill 15 years ago. Today, the president will try to convince the doctors that they have more to gain than lose. Chris? Bill Plant in Chicago for us this morning. Bill, thank you.